11 as well. Loved ones are speaking out after three people were found dead at a home here in Grant County Monday. Deputies say they died from suspected carbon monoxide poisoning. Simone Jameson has more. Trisha Robb were just outside Holmes High School in Covington is where 20 year old Aubrey McGovney was a former student. She is one of three people investigators say were found dead inside a trailer home in Grant County Monday. Something loved ones are struggling to come to grips with. Whole world is crushed. You lost a piece of me. It's all been a blur. Andrea feels is heartbroken as she sifts through photos and cards of her youngest daughter, 20 year old Aubrey McGovney, whose life was cut short January 8th. Aubrey was sass, but she was the one that would go out of her way to say, I love you. Um, I'm checking in on you. I want to do something with you. She's also part of the ROTC and got an award for being a sharpshooter. So, um, Kind of a proud mama moment there. Grant County deputies say the former Holmes High School student was found dead inside a home in the country living Indian Hill Point Trailer Park, along with 21 year old David Burtis Dye Jr., who we're told was her boyfriend and his father, 53 year old David Burtis Dye Sr. According to the Grant County coroner, they died from suspected carbon monoxide poisoning. It's uh, obviously very hard on everybody. Investigators say they found a portable generator running inside the home without opened windows, which they suspect led to the carbon monoxide deaths. We spoke to Logan Willoughby, who tells us David Veritas, Lee Dye was his brother, and David Veritas Dye Sr. was his stepfather. They literally would not leave each other's side. I mean, the love that they had for each other, <laughs> It's hard to explain. It's hard to put in words. Willoughby says the entire ordeal has been heart wrenching for his family and McGovney's family. They tell us David Veritas Lee died, leaves behind a six year old son, and McGovney also leaves behind a son who turns one in February. It was a dad that was trying to keep his kid and my kid warm, and it, it's a terrible, terrible accident. Loved ones hope this tragic accident will serve as an eye-opening lesson for others. And I do hope that it, it's something that people can, you know, start to educate themselves on. They got their life stripped from them at a, in, a, in a way that, you know, I hope that no one has to uh, ever deal with. McGovney's family tells me they are planning a private memorial service for her sometime in the near future. Meanwhile, the family of Big David and Little David says they are planning a celebration of a life service, which will be held this Sunday at 6 p.m. for both of them. That'll take place at Shiloh Full Gospel in Corinth. Live in Covington, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now.